There is a really simple way to create futuristic user interface sounds in Vital. And this time we are going for high pitched and really glitchy user interface sounds. So let's just start here with a sine wave. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to modulate the level because we don't really want a static sound. So let's just grab LFO1 and put this on the level of oscillator 1 and turn the frequency up. This is also a good method to get data processing sounds, but that's not really what we are going for today. So let's just dial on a shape similar to this. And then the next thing we want to do just to get some more variation in there is we want to modulate the pitch. So we're just going to use LFO2 and put this on a global voice transpose and maybe turn the frequency down here. And now the main modulation comes from using delay. So let's turn the mix up all the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the frequency here. Set this to seconds because it's a bit easier. Let's just use the micro knob on the frequency. And you can right click on this here. Just make sure to set it to bipolar. You can also do this in the matrix over here. And this is so we get the entire spectrum of the frequency here. And what I would do is I would just draw in some MIDI notes, just some variation in the pitch with different octaves, and then just record some of the movement here. Of course, you can also play around with the feedback here. I just had it at the default setting for now. If you want to color the sound a bit more, we can use the filter section here and just use one of these comb filters. So we still have our micro modulations from before and we can just record one more take with the comb filter engaged. And now we can just go through the audio and select the good parts. And the second thing to do is to pitch this around as in my last tutorial. Just deactivate the warp mode here. So these are some of the results that I got here. For even more variation, you can actually just consolidate this again and then pitch this entire file. And if you're in Ableton, you can also make use of the different warp functions here. But no matter which DAW you're using, there are going to be different warp functions available. And you can try different waveforms here. You can change the shape of LFO1. You can also remove or change the shape of LFO2 for the pitch modulation. You can play around with the feedback here with the comb filter. And by doing this, you should get a lot of different variations and sort of force your happy accidents to get a lot of interesting sounds.